Hi, this is an introduction to the web form module for Drupal 8. My name is Jake Rockwitz. I'm known as Jay Rockwitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. So what is the web form module? It's a form builder and submission manager. And this is the web form builder. It's just the UI to build a form. And what we're looking at is a contact form. So you can see there's a text field, an email field, and a text area to collect just a con contact message. And this is the contact form, very simple. Your name, email, subject, and message. And when it's submitted, you get a submission. And this is the submission that came through for a test. And you can review it online, edit it. And the, the next thing that we move on to is why use the web form module? Well, the web form module provides all the features expected from an enterprise proprietary form builder combined with the flexibility and openness of Drupal. So, the way to put it is the web form module gives you the ability to build any form you want and use it in Drupal and leverage all of Drupal's flexibility, extendability, the contributed module system. So you can do almost anything you want. And if you can write custom code, you can integrate with any system you want. And the, the use case for the web form module is that you would, you know, build a form or copy a template, publish the form as a page note or block, collect form submissions, send confirmations and notifications, review these results online, and then you would you know, distribute these results by like downloading a CSV or remote posting this data to a, C a CRM or a third-party service. And, and the use case is simply you know, build a form, collect submissions, and distribute this data, distribute these submissions. And I can give you a nice quick demo of just the web form module. This is a clean install. These messages are dismissible. Once they're dismissed, you'll never see them again. And I'm going to click through and just show you the contact form that we were just talking about. Here's the contact form. And for this demo, I'd like to just add company to this form. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to hit Add Element. I'm going to select Text Field. I'm going to start a company element. I'm not going to show you any of the other properties and settings, but I'm going to add that element, and I'm going to preview it. Go over to View. And here's the company field. And there's a minor mistake where I want it to be required. It should say your company be moved up to the top. So we're going to go back over to the builder. I'm going to show you, instead of using the UI to you know, check require to move the element, I'm going to show you the source mode, which is a powerful feature included in the web form module, where you can edit the source code behind a web form. So I'm moving up. I grab the company field. I'm moving it after name. I want to change the label. And this is just YAML. So I'm writing proper YAML. And I, you can copy and paste properties and elements. If you're a senior developer and understand Drupal's form API, this is a very fast way to build and manipulate your forms. And even if you're a copy editor, you can go in and edit every label at once. I'm going to hit Save. Now I'm going to go over to the Test tab, which is going to show us the form, but fill it out with just some you know Latin text and reasonable default. I'm going to hit Send. In the background, it's sending an email, and it's just giving a little message on the home page. I'm going to click back. And now I'm going to go over to the Results tab to show you the data coming in just a table listing out the submission. You have the ability to manipulate that submission, flag it, lock it, add some notes to it. You can even customize the columns here. I'm going to click through. And here's the data that it came through. Now that's the general, you know, what I just described in the use case. The only thing I like to add to this, this demo is just the, the ability to build any type of form you want. So what I'm going to do is just show you some of the front end styling nuances that you can do. So we have your company and your name. And you know what? I want to distinguish that. So I'm going to give this example where I want to add a horizontal rule. So I'm going to add a horizontal rule. It automatically fills out it. And you can also set the styles. And you have full control over what these classes are. They're just CSS classes, but it comes with some defaults. I'm going to do a nice dotted one. I'm even going to go in and make it nice and thick so it stands out. I'm going to add that. I'm going to move it up here. I'm going to save it. And so I've added a horizontal rule after your name and company. Now what I'd like to do is get your name and company in a multi-com layout side by side. So I'm going to add something called a Flexbox, which is a CSS3 layout system. I'm going to add a Flexbox layout. I'm just going to insert it. And keep in mind, we're manipulating existing form. You'd be able to go in and add these elements directly to this layout. But I'm going to place it here. And even just to make this a little more interesting, I'm going to go over to settings. So we have, here, let's just look at the form. Very simple form. 
It's got a horizontal rule. You got a multi column, you know, two columns. I also want to just make it, I don't know, stand out a little bit more. So just going to jump into here. And this is the admins, you know, the settings for the form. But I'm going to go into form. And what you can do is add custom styles to it. And I'm just going to make it look like a, a regular status message. I'm just wrapping the whole form so that it'll be nice and green and stand out. Keep in mind when your designers build your patterns, you can they can enhance this in many different ways and use bootstrap panels and layouts, but you start getting the idea of all the flexibility. And everything we're looking at here can be customized. The submit buttons can be styled and changed, and it also depends on the theme you're using. I know this is going a little deep into all the nuances of what you can do, but I like adding that to this demo because it shows the, the true flexibility available in the web form module. So I'm going to move on. And, and emphasize here, this slide is you can build anything. The web form module is a complete solution for building forms. And what I'm kind of including in these, these training videos are just introductions, just some exercises that you could do. And I, I really think it's the, these examples, which is just like build a simple contact form from scratch, add email notification to that contact form, test and download the contact form's results. These are just things you should do to get more familiar with it as practice. And then if you want to get more advanced, you can, you know, edit the contact form as YAML, especially if you understand form API. It's totally worth just practicing, experimenting with it. You can also get into the more, you know, advanced form settings where you add a preview to your contact form. You're even able to disable the saving of results. And there's just a nice little another nuance where you can have no data stored in Drupal. You can have that data only go into email or you could remote post it to a CRM. So that's it for now. You can... Find out more about me at jrockwoods.com and thank you.